Councilwoman Dalbini. I want to thank the gentlewoman for yielding. I rise today to honor, recognize, and remember the events from one year ago when lives in my district changed in a matter of seconds. Part of a mountainside slid into the Steelhaven neighborhood, claiming 43 lives, numerous homes, and damaging public infrastructure. The people of Oso, Darrington, Arlington, the Stillaguamish tribe, and the Sox Seattle tribe will never be the same but I have great faith in these communities. The Highway 530 mudslide was a heartbreaking disaster. It caused unbelievable devastation and a tragic loss of life. But even through such a painful tragedy, it's been inspiring to see how the community has come together, people doing everything they can to help each other. Their response in the face of calamity has been incredible. I joined these communities yesterday to honor the memories of those we lost and recognize everyone's efforts, including the first responders who selflessly risked their lives to save others. Recovery continues to be a slow, difficult process, but I'm confident that through our work together, we'll continue to get through these difficult times stronger and closer than ever. Federal, state, and local agencies like the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, and the State Department of Transportation responded to calls for aid when our communities needed roads rebuilt, an extension for filing taxes, help to get kids to school, or to find new housing. I'll continue to push for resources until, until these communities are fully restored. But instead of simply sending aid after, after a disaster, lawmakers need to do more to ensure that we fund programs and research efforts to prevent future natural disasters from becoming national tragedies. One thing that struck me most while spending time in these communities and with local emergency command centers was the spirit, courage, and cooperation of everyone who pitched in to help. FEMA officials even commented that this was the first time they allowed locals to be so heavily involved in rescue efforts. They did so because the people of these communities brought unique skills, experience, and determination. For example, loggers understood how to use heavy machinery in a challenging environment with 40 feet of mud, rocks, and trees. It was the first natural disaster where everyone, federal and local, worked together so well. Lawmakers in our nation's capital could learn a lot from the people of Oso, Darrington, and Arlington. We too need to work together to ensure our communities are better prepared for natural disasters and landslides in particular. During this session of Congress, I plan to introduce legislation that would standardize and share research and mapping methods across the country while increasing funding for research and hazard assessments in high risk areas. In addition, a primary goal of my bill will be to determine a national strategy to increase public awareness of the risks associated with landslides and identify slide-prone areas. We must also create education programs and increase the rapid response efforts because, as we all know too well, disasters strike with little warning. We will never forget those that were lost in the slide and the incredible community that continues to be oh so strong. Thank you, and I yield back.